You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, ABC Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we want to talk about something that we've been wondering about for a while, and that's whether Dex Heller might be Sonny Corinthos' son. We have got five signs that Dex could be Sonny's kid, and we also have an idea of who his mother might be. We've talked about this in the Soap Dirt Writer's Room, and we all agree that it's extremely plausible, and we have five reasons we want to tell you about for you to think about so you can consider if it's a possibility to you. Before we dig into this, if you haven't already clicked subscribe, reach down there, bop that button so you don't miss any of your favorite General Hospital videos from Soap Dirt on YouTube. That includes spoilers, casting news, everything you need to know about your favorite ABC soap. Let's dig into this. Five signs. Now, I will tell you the last thing we're going to talk about is who his mother might be. So we're going to build up to that. So don't get mad. Be patient. The number one sign is Dex Heller seemed hellbent on revenge against Sonny, and he didn't want to stop chasing that revenge, even when Michael Corinthos wanted him to. Of course, the background on this is that Dex Heller was a war veteran, and he came to Port Charles. He had also worked as a mercenary, and it was in his line of work as a mercenary where Michael contracted him to basically infiltrate Sonny's organization to take him down. Why did Michael want to take him down? Well, Michael's mad because of the whole Sonny, Nina, Carly thing and his parents being broken up and Nina being in his dad's life. So he wants to punish Sonny. Very few people know about Michael's vendetta right now. As a matter of fact, Jocelyn, Jax, and Dex, I think, are the only ones. Of course, Sonny is in the dark. Nina's in the dark. Carly is in the dark. Michael's fiance, Willow, is in the dark. She's about to be his wife, and he still hasn't told her. And recently, because of questions that Willow is asking about, you know, she wants the family to be at peace after she dies, and she wants Michael to reconcile with his dad. So we're wondering if Michael is going to agree to back off. But nevertheless, things were really bad for a while where Dex was suspected of being the hook killer. And you might remember that Sonny got him out of the police station, but then strung him up in the back of Volmanino's restaurant and was torturing him, trying to torture a confession out of him. And Michael and Joss came to get him out. And at that point, Michael was like, okay, this is really bad. You just need to step away from this. And a couple of times they've had this discussion and both times Dex was like, no, I'm staying in this. So why, other than, you know, the money, why would he keep doing it? And Michael even offered to pay him off. Like, I'll pay you everything I agreed to. So the money wasn't the incentive. Dex wants to see this through. And so that feels like it could be a personal vendetta. And if Dex knows that Sonny is his dad, maybe he came to town with a chip on his shoulder because he grew up without a father. He had an absentee dad. Dex has mentioned his trial terrible backstory. He had these big brothers that beat him up so badly they hospitalized him five times and his parents really didn't seem to care. They just wrote it off as, ah, that's just what boys do. But it would go a long way to explaining that if Dex was adopted and those were his adopted brothers who resented him being adopted and that's why they abused him and that's why the parents looked the other way, which is terrible, but things happen like that. So that's number one because Dex keeps on and it seems very personal to him. Our number two things is that Dex is constantly looking for Sonny's approval. And in some ways, early on in this storyline, he was looking for approval so that he could get closer to Sonny so that he could carry out this revenge agenda that he was doing for Michael. But then there's some other ways where Dex has constantly sought Sonny's approval. And when he gets Sonny's approval, he just preens. He's so happy. He's so proud to have his approval. And that's another reason it feels very personal for instance, when Dex went into the kitchen at Pizzullo's and he cooked a meal for Sonny. He said he had these older recipes and he made this meal and Sonny tasted it and Sonny was talking about how good the meal was and Dex just lit up. He was so happy that he had done something to make Sonny happy and that he really liked his food. 
And that seems to have nothing to do with this agenda of taking Sonny down. At that point, he was already ingratiated and very close to Sonny, and he's in a good position to follow through with what Michael's hired him to do. So why is he trying to get Sonny's approval in a personal way? And why does he seem so happy when he gets it? And that could be because he knows that Sonny is his dad and all boys want their daddy's approval. So that's number two. Number three, in the recent shootout at the warehouse, Dex fully saved Sonny's life. He got in front of a bullet. He saved his life. And that's not necessarily something that you do for a paycheck, especially not when you're targeting that person. And then Sonny turned around and saved his life. And that was kind of a turning point in this story, I feel like, where Dex is taking a second look at Sonny. Because if Dex is Sonny's son, obviously Sonny doesn't know about it. And yet he was willing to put Put himself in front of a bullet to save Dex. And that made a dent. That's number three. Number four is in recent conversations between Dex and Sonny's daughter, Christina Corinthos, Dex is extremely interested in this charity that Sonny started for her name and not in a way where he wants to get involved or that he wants to take this information and use it in some way. It was him seeing Sonny in a different light, him seeing Sonny caring about Christina as a parent and caring about her interest and then setting up this charity so that she could still do something she cared about, that she's passionate about while still keeping the job that she loves. And that was very interesting. They had a very intense conversation. Dex was looking at the materials she showed him and it wasn't in any kind of way where Dex was flirting with her. And so that's another thing because if Dex is Sonny's son, then Christina Christina is his sister, and in no way was he at all flirtatious with her. Like, there was no vibe like that at all. And so it feels like that this is all building up towards some kind of reveal of them having a link. So now we're going to talk in number five about our reasons that we think he could be Sonny's son, who could be his mother, and why the timeline aligns. If you haven't already clicked that subscribe button, reach down, hit that button so you don't miss any of our updates from Soap Dirty YouTube. Now, number five, who could be Dex Heller's mother if Sonny is his father? And I will tell you what the timeline comes down to, and this has nothing to do with making things things fit or soap opera or rapid aging. This is an actual real life actor timeline versus a character timeline where it could align and that Dex is right at the right age to be Sonny's son. Do you remember Lily Rivera? She was one of Sonny's loves from years ago. Lily's dad was a mobster in Puerto Rico, I believe. She and Sonny fell in love and she was pregnant when they got married and her dad hated Sonny and he put a bomb in the car because he intended to kill Sonny. Only the bomb went off when Lily was in the car. And that was because Sonny was fooling around with somebody else while she was pregnant and her dad was really mad. So anyway, her dad was trying to murder Sonny, but instead blew up his own daughter. Lily died from that bombing on May 31st, 1996. The actor who plays Dex... Evan Hoffer was born in early 1997. So if we're just going with real life timelines, when at the point that she died and was pregnant, then the actor who plays this role is exactly the right age to be her son. And so you're asking, yeah, but wait, she blew up in a car bomb. Come on, it's General Hospital. It's a soap opera. How many people have been blown up, burned, pushed off a cliff, died of something, and have come back later? All the time. This is a soap opera. Resurrections are standard. Here's how it could work out. So say that Lily was horribly injured, but she survived, and the baby in her belly survived, and maybe she was in a coma, and they kept her alive until she gave birth to the baby that could possibly now be Dex Heller. And then after she gave birth, they let her die because she was so severely injured. So that is absolutely how they could explain that Dex is Lily and Sonny's son and him being adopted by this family that he grew up with that was so abusive. You know, the adoption could explain that. It could also explain why Dex came to town, why he has this intense need for Sonny's approval, 
why he might want to punish Sonny, why this vendetta could be as personal for him as it is for Michael, because he might feel like that if Sonny hadn't cheated on Lily, then his grandfather would never have blown up the car and his mother would have survived and he would have had a normal childhood. So all this could really work out to where we see Dex as Sonny's son. It could all perfectly align if they tweak it. And this would not be unprecedented for General Hospital, by the way. If you remember, Nina Reeves was in a coma for like 20 years because her mom had drugged her and she was pregnant when she went into a coma and she was told that she miscarried. But it turns out she actually had her babies and those babies are Nell Benson and Willow Tate. And they did that retcon and they wrote it that way. So 100% General Hospital could say that Dex is Lily's kid and she survived long enough to deliver him before succumbing to her injuries from the bombing. I think it would be super duper cool if Dex was Sonny's kid, not because Sonny Caranthos needs another kid, because let's face it, he has impregnated half of Port Charles. If he spends too much time alone with a woman, her ovaries explode and she gets pregnant. But in this case, it would line up and it would be very interesting because then Dex would stay on the character canvas. And in case you're worried about Dex being involved with Jocelyn, do not forget Jocelyn is in no way related to Sunny. She is the child of Jasper Jacks and Carly Corinthos. She is in no way a blood relative of Sunny's. And if Dex turns out to be Sunny's son, she would not be getting busy with a brother or a half brother and not even a stepbrother because her mom is no longer married to Sunny. So don't worry about that. But what do you think? Are you interested? Do you think that Dex could be Sunny's kid? Would you like to see that? Drop us a note in the comments. Let us know what you think. Stay tuned for more on this blossoming storyline. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>